Bagen bingen lele na rupi sopu, mampi sopu, shapo. Bingen lele na mato ta wonke. Ekaya, thank you for this opportunity. You know, when they've asked me to come and speak, you know, to the men. I'm a daughter, they are in my heart. You know, I would speak with men anytime. Uma no me schedule something a vumi. Go to uma out my tabula buya. Uzo kuluma na ma daughter. I would jump because I know that uh, men are the only hope of this nation, are the only hope of this world. And when they gave me the topic, oh, we are talking about the making of a real man. Wow, wow, wow. The truth is, Bandabengosi, our society have a different definition of a man. They have a different definition, you know, of a man. You know, so, umbuzo uti, indoda, the real man who is a real man. But before we even talk about a real man, maybe we need to talk about what a real man it is not so that we can fix the wrong definition of a real man. You know, in our society, Doc, and my daughter, but a real man, you are a real man because of the size of your genitals. That is how people, they define a real man. That is why, you know, come and enlarge your, your penis. Because, based on what you, you have, you know, in your private part. That is the definition, you know, of the world. The society, they define a man in that form. And then, Abanye a real man, you know, you are a real man based on the number of women you slept with, you know. And I want to tell you, and then, Uguti, even boys who are 12 years, you know, today, they sleep with women. It doesn't make you a real man. You know, the other concept that we need to get rid of, when people, they say, you know, the number of children, you are a real man because of the number of children that you have. I'm saying to you, even 11-year-old, you know, so you cannot say, we need to get rid of that definition of a man. Sometimes, as when they are saying you are a man because of the prison you went to. You know, umzo munda apinda posta ati mina mfana giti nange na echele elinje na ganje. Futi, gindo tangza kupantitela. Because they define indo ta based on the prison they went to. I want to tell you, akusi indo ta ngoba wena uye echele eltize. Are you with me? So that is the definition of the world. And they go on and on. You know, sometimes sabanye bati uyindota based on the muscles that you have. You know, umange nama muscle namkanje bati aksi indota ya luto. You know, and people today, they run to the gym so that they can have ama muscles. And then at the end of the day, bazo waziwa je nama daughter. Let me tell you, you can have big muscles. You can even have a dead voice, you know, and you can have a big structure but you can still act like a baby the way Apostle Paul said, oh, would you know, I was young and I spoke, you know, as a child. You know, you've got people with big bodies, you know, with big structures. But you know, you know, you know, you know, Lana, Gugulelwela, Agunandota, Humtana, Lana, there's no man. You know, sometimes the world that we are living in, they are saying you are a real man. You know what? They say you are a real man because of the type of a car that you are driving, the toys. That is why I'm a daughter, I'm a you know, Afuna, the first thing, in daughter, my daughter, to tell him, say, Benzi, we have the answer, Johnny, if you look at the motor, who is the name, gives us a peg up, Pella, who to one in daughter. You are not a man because of the car that you are driving. Even boys today, they can afford, you know, cars. So the definition goes on and on. We are going to the polish and Garanani, we are going to the Yam and Garanani, you know, the voice, you know, it deep voice on Nayo. And then this is how people, they define a, a man. Let me tell you, the only person who can define a real man, it is God himself. We are born in Abandabaya Zio, in Moto, Yagwa Toyota, Abangachela, in Fitaralo, in Moto, in Toyota, Abandubaga Toyota, Abai Kandile, Bapinda, Bapareliza, in Manual. So if you want to define a real man, I think it is wisdom 
to go to the creator, you know, of the man. And then because he came up with the manual and say, I have created a man and this is how I define the real man. Now, umafunde nwa tininga Genesis u chapter 1 from verse 26, i verse silazio tina songe. Liti then God said, let us make men in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. O verse 27, basically, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. Basically, I'm turned up, O verse 28, little then God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and multiply. What a beautiful scripture. Ukutu nkulu nkulu. Lite masela kato kumtua. Ukumtala umuntu. Wafaga izi nto guye. Yabunu nkulu nkulu agamani atala ngafagi izi nto. Nkulu nkulu cannot demand. You know from something that he has not deposited. Something guye. Nkulu nkulu kune izi nto. Afunu guye bona empilwe nye ndota. Because God has deposited these things in the life of the man. Go to bamba, bamba, bamba. La pagu Genesis chapter 2. U Genesis chapter 2. Sagam dalilo unkulu nkulu umuntu. U to verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden. In the east and there, bamba liti, and there, you know, he put the man whom he had formed. Agazane amtale, aitalin dota. Liti emvago logo, wase uyamfaga. Uh, uh, in the Garden of Eden, whoever is cut the garden of Bacon, Unkulungu, a tata in daughter, I am Zabon Fanegiso, you know, in his image and his, his likeness. And then, after blessing him, after giving him the power and the authority and dominion, we are Tatum Kulungu Umbera Gupi in the Garden of Eden. And the Bible says in verse 9, and out of the ground of, of the Lord, God made to spring up every tree. That it is that that ple that is pleasant, you know, to the sight and good for food. And then oh, verse nine, little corner lapa in that garden, a river flowed out of Eden, you know, to water the garden. Now, mfuna ubamba na zizinto ezinyo ya zazi koto ezinyo mtambo ya funda uyanzula au iboni gaje. Seven things God gave to Adam, or seven things that God gave to man, or seven things. That makes a man to be a real man, according yeah. to the definition of God. Uma siti umuntu, he is a real man. Mwagwe definition, gangkulungkulu, it is somebody, owazio, oguti, he has been made in God's image. Wow. Amen. That is the first thing. Uma indota, inga guazi loko, oguti, iye nzwengu mfane giso gangkulungkulu, you have been created in the image of God. Let me tell you, that simply means in, in the inside of you, there is a spirit of God. Now you have been made and created in the image of God. Let me tell you, you live a life of an animal. Today, you know what? It is because a man, he is no longer in his rightful position. You know, the image here can It is the image of God. Right in the garden of Eden, the second thing and then he gave him his likeness God created man in his image and in his likeness when you speak of God's likeness simply means God's way of operation that simply means you must talk like God you must walk like God you must act like God everything you know you act like God let me tell you it is not according to the plan of God Jehovah is expecting you when we speak of making of a real man a real man understands what he has been made in God's image number one and number two he has been made in his likeness you, you operate like God 
God. You know, you give commands. You know, you give commands. And not only that, number three, we see that God gave men dominion, power to govern. The word dominion simply means power to govern. And when we speak of power to govern, number one, you must be able to govern yourself. Mm, right. That is the first thing. You know, I'm kind of seeing a matter about, 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 but they can't even govern themselves. They can't even govern their private parts. Young Tolin daughter, it is Naming Ibonenje saying, saying in Gena, Angazi, Ninganeganjani, Angazi, Ganning, Kandeganjan, I, 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 daughter, Uyin daughter, Ucha Hofa, Ugniges, the it dominion. He gave you power to govern. And number one, before you govern other people, you must govern yourself. It is very important to govern yourself, to govern your flesh, to govern your, your life, to govern your soul. Before you can even govern your family, you must be able to govern yourself and thereafter you will govern your family and then you will govern the space around you and on top of that you will be able to govern you know the world and the government as well you know today we've got people I'm not a good government they can't even govern themselves no wonder the mess because people they can't even govern themselves you know uh, doctor being things out cool God is expecting you as a man to govern. I my daughter, man, come on, let us govern this nation. It is because men are no longer in their rightful position. God is expecting you to govern as a man. Because that is how God has created you to be. So a man, when we say you are a real man, you are a real man because you are able to govern Zindu. You know, you don't bring an income, but you govern. You bring order. They are in order. It is a man, it is the role of a man. He's in Tunkunukulu, as Begilegue, footy. You don't even have to pray for them. They are in the inside of you. Wow. God says, I want you, you know, to dominate. I want you to have dominion. Unkunukulu, what crown and ayo. And not only that, any into Unkunukulu, my father, to give father, go at my father the glory or the honor. You know, that that honor in Kazimulo, and Sizul, sit in Kazimulo, Wamigas in Kazimulo. You know, that that glow, yeah. Of that light mm. to a point that no masega pegi pubez uti ku pubez we na pubezi eh, today ika malako ungu pubez you are a lion because he had that honor he had that authority he had that dignity are you with me he had he had that glory ungu nungu wa nigeza in daughter it glory so that uma uvela even na paradu kwa bantu you are being respected you are being honored jeng in daughter because he's in do ungu nungu wa nigeza zona wa pinda wa nigeza na mama cells I mean, those muscles were given to you for a reason, not to beat up your wife, not just to take advantage of those who are weak, but God has given you those things for his children so that you can even protect. The moment I realized unfortunately, the devil came in and when the devil came in, he tempered with the glory of men. To a point today, Amatota Namkanja, our Safun Noguti, Abba Matota, Amako Amatota, Akole is shame. They don't even want to take a responsibility. And today, our boys, they'll rather become women. They'll rather become, you know, the other part of the gender. Abba Safuni, Uguba, Amatota, because the glory, it is fallen. The glory has disappeared. Empilwenian daughter, I pray this evening that may the good God, Amen. you know, restore that glory. 
glory. May the good God restore the honor and daughter. Baba Siazi, Utsipila Ezweni, where women are being promoted, where women are being lifted up, and then in daughter, I beg we're Today it is all about how much are you earning. Listen to me, daughter. We in daughter, no more let you loot. We in daughter, not in your vote. We in daughter, because God made you a man and He gave you that glory. I want to pray tonight that may the good God make you to arise and shine. Amen. Take your rightful position. Israel, because I'm a daughter, our circle, and the And let me tell you, oh my daughter, in the echo, and the you know what's going to happen? I mean, women will try to occupy that space, and the moment they try to occupy that space, there'll be a gap. Because Aksena. A, 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 a person or lazy gule saskala want to challenge my daughter today that unkulungulu agnigeza in kazimulo the glory wa kava ngayo lazy akisizo nizinto ongai tenga over the counter these are the things that God will give it to you himself and then was nigeza u Adam naze ezi nizinto unkulungulu amnigeza yona u Adam wamnigeza ikadi the garden of Eden unkulungulu iti papili and then he planted the man right there in the garden you know, sometimes if you listen to the Bible, it's a scripture. You know, but I looked at the definition of the word garden. What is the meaning of the word Eden? The word Eden, it simply means in Hebrew, a spot or an open door, you know, or God's presence or a place of delight. Let me say that again. The word Eden simply means a spot, you know, or open door. That was an open door of communication between wow. God and man, between God and Adam. You know, so Eden simply means a place of communication, you know, between God, you know, and, and, and Adam. So Adam, what they were end up when they got the in a network. Yeah. And then there's no network. Yeah. In a spot where they can communicate. What am I, what am I trying to say, my daughter? In daughter, the hunger of the open door so that between God and men. Listen to me, ladies. If you 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 are dating a man who is not on that spot, a man who is not connected to God, you are in a serious problem because in daughter, in daughter, nobody in a communication oh, according to the definition Amen. of God. Amen. If you are a man, but you cannot communicate with God, you are not a man. But according to the manual of God, God placed a man in the garden, in the place, you know, of God's presence, a place of delight, you know, an open door so that God, if he wants to rule the world, he would come to a man and then so that he can instruct a man to say, this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to say. Because Nkulungulu, Uholangat, Nkulungulu, Unegaza Matarekshin, Gamatota. And I'm not going to apologize about that. Yeah. I know we are living in the world where that says, you know, Gune Patriarchy and all that. That is a topic for another day. But I'm talking about the way God wants us to do right. as men, to rule and to give direction and to lead in, in, in the front line. Nkulungulu, Unegaza, that open space so that we can have a communication. Umbuze, Fane Subuze, Namkanjin, Damba, Maguti. Are you in that spot? Are you yeah. on that spot wow, where you no. can communicate? Utuwe na ngungulungul. Umbuzo uti. Are you in the presence of God? Yeah. Because in God, according to the definition of God, it is a man who is mm. in the presence of God, mm. where God can penetrate him, where God can communicate with him anytime. That it is a man according to the definition of God. Number one, God gave him his image. Number yeah. two, his likeness. Number three, his dominion. And number four, his glory. And number five, wambegen simin wamnigezi eden, the garden of eden, the presence of God. Enye nenye in daughter, ifanile ibe nobuko, no nobuko na bugangkulungkulu. That is why Paul, he speaks of a man as the priest of his house. That you are the priest of your house. You are a priest of your home. It doesn't matter you are educated or not. Lalam Tarama, Uma Indo to Fundila Fundana before Lara, Tati Pipil Baba, Tati Pipili, Beso Yal Funda, Numa Funda and Sizulu, or Utai Shangan. You are a man in your house. Your wife can have a degree, can be a doctor. Go to Agunes Busiso, Uma Indo to Tati Pipili, Bese Fundela Umdenua, Lo, Gunes Busiso, Esiela, Ekayalako, Uma Fundana, Mabunen Kazimulo, and the anointing, and my blessings. 
vele kunkulungulu but you know what we have done over the years sithathe leyo responsibility leyo role leyo sayinikeza kubo mama kuti hayi funda wena mama wena ufundile uya understand hey ngithi mina owa mufundi wokudlula mina una ama degree ama ama thathu angena ne degree eyodwa kodwa mangifika ka ama thebula abibele ihlaya wa himina imi emfunda i bible lisa bibele la man ni hlaya bibele make mfunde ngoba iza ne sibusiso iza ne anointing bese iqondisa izinto Amen. Eden. Mm. And the number six. Yeah. Ungulu Musagam Nigeza Wonge. We are talking about the making of a real man. Mm. Number six, Ungulunguru, he gave this man what we call work. Wam Nigazum Sebe in the garden. Wapinda wash what I'm giving you work. I want you to to guard the garden. I want you to cultivate the garden. Remember Malfunda, the Lele Bible Apagu, good chapter two. Little right there in that garden there was a river, the river that was flowing. Because Ungulunguru Umnigazi garden, it was the role, you know, Eaga Adam to make sure that the river it's flowing. Maliaki Bible, little this river, and then it turned into four. Yabanama streams I four because it is the role of a man to make sure you cultivate your garden. If there's one stream, those streams must actually develop into flow, into four, so that they can benefit the entire garden. Listen to me. Um Seben's one daughter is to work the garden. Every man must have work. And Kulum Um Seben, I'm not talking about the job. You know, there's a job and work. Those are two different things. Uti Hova Uti, I want you to work. Cultivate. You know, cultivate, guard the garden. And this was the role. Of a man. Nancy into my daughter, if you are a man, everything that is around you must be cultivated. Mm. And when you speak about cultivation, <coughs> you are talking about things next to you, they must flourish, they must blossom. A real man, in daughter, in flourish, isn't they become better? they become better. Your wife becomes better. I always say to people, if you want to see the real man, the real father, uti in daughter, in jan, mago pege, umtana abantuana bake nunkoskas wake. Because unkoskas wako, nabantuana bako, they are your reflection. So if they are flourishing, it is because you have done a great work. You know Gama the one who drives the best car. It's, mam, it's mama tebula because my job is to cultivate. my wife I would rather mina ngingi ni ngama oil got not umgami because as a man yeah. I am there to cultivate my wife and my family. Mm. So daughter unkulunkulu ufuna ube i cultivator isinto esetelen guako. The painful thing today is that our women today they are so fearful. We had a lady today, I can't get married. The very same people cultivate. But but you know what? I can get married because daughter, Angel, Baba, So even if you are not being employed. But you can do some work. Mwaba uyindota. Wena. Number seven. Ungulungul bona ekzinen. Lapia. Ekzinen. Lapia. Ekzinen. Wamnigeza unkoskas. Umfazu fiale. Ekzinen. Lekzinen. Weabunu mundo kangutu uyindota. Mwabunu umfazu. Ngiti mina nge definition kangulungul. Ungulungul unigeza indota. Zonke le zindu. Umfazu wa sombega le ekzinen. And now, uh, Madam Nigazu Adam, Uti Mugnigaza, and I as a helper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uti, I'm giving this woman to you as a helper because Uza Gue, Uzo Caesar, Gulento Oyenzai, Umbuzo Uti, Umangulu Egnigaza, a helper. I mean, Ugnigaza, a helper because Unezinto or Straglisha Nazo already, when you are overloaded, and that is why God gave you a helper. Ungulungulu, Unigazu Adam, a helper because he was already overloaded. Nemsebe in the 80s. So I want to encourage you seven things of Anube Nazo, Mamtua. The image of God, mm. His likeness, dominion, glory, a garden, which is the Eden, and then Umsebenzi, a Kreneni, 
ngempela phela awunohlala uyimpohlo kuze kuyovalwa hayi inkosi yami nakho sona 40 nakho sona 45 kwenze njani khuluma no bishop khuluma no bishop mhlapho uthi bishop kunzima 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 uNkulunkulu yayenze imanga bazalwana uNkulunkulu yazenze imanga singakuthandazela nawe and singa singakuthandazela ikuphela siphinde futhi sikuconnect sithi mako khulume nalo dade ukuze zonke izinto zenzeke kahle ngoba phela mdawe nkosi uNkulunkulu ufuna izinto zonke zihleleke izinto zonke zihambe ngendlela aw madoda masike sibe namadoda let us lead our families let us lead our children let us lead this nation namhlanje asinawo namadoda sengisho na ku parliament asinawo amadoda but uma singaba namadoda we not gonna have a problem even in governing this nation namhlanje abantu bayitshontsha bayiqeda imali ngoba amadoda angena nkazimulo ayasibusa kulunkulu ufuna amadoda nenkazimulo athi noma sekabhekana nama million asaba ukuyidla athi Jehova ungibhekile kodwa uma angena nkazimulo kaNkulunkulu baza ishaya bayiqeda phu ingane zethu sale sinking in this is a definition of a real man wow. according to God i pray that this evening wherever you are may the good god do you good may the good god bless you and become a real man siyabonga madoda make sakhe isizwe sakithi nemndeni yakithi nabakhosikazi wethu nabantwana bethu they must feel safe next to us in jesus name nyabonga my bishop nyabonga mam bishop mhlapho inkosi ibe nani in jesus name